Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next problem in the JE main test dealing with electricity magnetism, in specific dealing with the intensity of light. So here we have the peak electric field produced by the radiation coming from an 8 watt bulb at a distance of 10 meters is, and they give us x over 10 times the square root of mu sub naught c over pi in volts per meter. The efficiency of the bulb is 10% and it is a point source. The value of x is. Now I did work this out before and it turned out that if I use the 10% efficiency I don't get the answer that they ascribe to the test. So here's kind of a, an interesting quagmire if uh, you think about it. If I use the correct information I don't get the right answer. Right answer is given by the test results. If I ignore the 10%, I do get the answer that was given in the test results. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if that happens more often. But anyway, let's go ahead and work it out. And first, we'll make a little diagram so you can see what's going on. We have a little light bulb like this. And the light bulb is 8 watts. And we're about 10 meters away. And we want to know the intensity at that location. So the first thing we need to know is the relationship between intensity and power because this is the power output of the light bulb. We say that intensity is equal to the power divided by the area over which it spreads. So this would be equal to 8 watts divided by the area which is 4 pi r squared. So that would be 4 pi times r squared, r being equal to 10 meters. And 4 pi r squared is essentially the surface area of a sphere over which the light spreads. So that gives us an equation for the intensity. The next thing we want to do is relate the intensity to the electric field strength. And we know that the intensity of light is equal to 1 half times C epsilon sub naught times E max squared. That's the maximum electric intensity, electric field intensity of the oscillation of the electric field of the light. And if we use the maximum squared, we need to put a one half in there, and that gives us the intensity right here. Which means we now have a relationship here where we can solve this for E max because that's what they want. They want the peak electric field produced. So that's E sub m. So that means that E sub m is equal to two times the intensity divided by, uh, or I should take the square root of that, right? So the square root, because I take the square root here, so that's equal to two times the intensity divided by the speed of light, epsilon sub naught. And remember that the intensity is equal to this right here. So this is equal to the square root of two times eight divided by uh, four pi r squared, four pi r squared, and then we still have c times epsilon sub naught. All right, so now at least we can simplify things just a little bit. This four becomes a one, this 8 becomes a 2, and you have 2 times 2 underneath the radical that can be moved out. And so that becomes the maximum field intensity is equal to 2 times the square root of, so here now we have 1 in the numerator, we have pi times r squared, which is 10 squared because we're 10 meters, times c times epsilon sub naught, and then notice I can pull the 10 out, and so this becomes 2 divided by 10, times the square root of, and we're remaining with a pi c and epsilon sub naught. So 1 over pi c epsilon sub naught. And now you say, well, we're done. Let's go look over here. And we have x over 10. So x becomes 2, but I don't have the same thing underneath my radical. But then I have to have a relationship. You should know the relationship that the speed of light is equal to 1 over the square root of mu sub naught times epsilon sub naught, which means that 1 over epsilon sub naught can be written as c times the square root of mu is equal to 1 over the square root of epsilon sub naught, and I can write this as the square root of c square mu sub naught, that should be mu sub naught, is equal to 1 over the square root of epsilon sub naught. And notice I have 1 over epsilon sub naught, which can be replaced by c squared times mu. So I have e sub m, the maximum electric field intensity, is 2 over 10 times the square root of, so instead of 1 over epsilon sub naught underneath the radical, 
if you like it, I can go ahead and write it like this. I can replace that by c squared mu sub naught. So that's c squared mu sub naught divided by pi times c. And then, of course, this c cancels at that c. And we have the maximum field intensity is equal to 2 over 10 times the square root of c mu sub naught over pi. And that is the same format that I see here. And of course, in that case, I can simply look at that and go x equals 2. And that was the answer that was given to us. But notice, if I take this 10% quantity of this matters, and that means that only 10% of the 8 watts is producing light, and the other 90% is producing heat, then I have to multiply the numerator in here by 0.1, the 10%, and then I wouldn't get the answer that I got. Hmm. So here's a situation that if you do it correctly and you take into account the 10%, you get an answer which should be correct but doesn't mat match the test answer. And if you do it incorrectly and you ignore the 10%, you get the answer prescribed to this test question. So once in a while, it looks like they may make a mistake on the test. And of course, that can cost you if you don't do it the way they want it done. And then you really don't know if you should take the 10% into account or not. So that's something I may want to look into a little bit more, but at least you know how to do the problem correctly. Whether or not you get the right answer the way they want it, I don't know. But that is how it's done. Hey, Tappy, let's stop that.